Now you mentioned uh, in the book this chimp, uh, I think a bonobo chimp named Kanzi. Um, Kanzi, yeah. Could you could you talk a little bit about that? And okay. this is what you're referring to oh. when you talk about chimps uh, able to to yeah. make uh, to learn something like 400 words. And you yeah. you said something interesting about this this chimp that it sort of ceased to be a bonobo once it started to uh, yes. learn language. So what, what do you mean by that exactly? What I meant by that was that, um, well, the interesting thing about, uh, they've tried for many years, going back to the, the 30s, to, to teach language to, to the great apes, mainly chimps, but also gorillas and, and other animals. And they've never really had much success with it. They, they've, uh, um, they've, you know, managed to teach them some sign language, and, and but they never really kind of got it to the point where they felt that they'd been able to grasp it. Now, the Kanzi's mother was one of the subjects of these experiments, and they were trying to teach her words, and she was having a lot of trouble. Uh, and then it, I think I think when she was selected, that's what it was. When she was selected for the research, they didn't know she was pregnant. But they just sort of started into it, and they realized that she was pregnant, so they had to carry on with it. And so she had the baby while she was doing, you know, part of the testing to teach her language. And after about three years, they just gave up with her because she just wasn't making any progress. And they sort of stopped. But then Kanzi, who'd been watching the whole thing, and they hadn't been teaching him. He'd just been hanging around with his mother he suddenly started using the, the interface board that they had and showed that he had actually grasped the things that his mother couldn't grasp. And so then they worked with him and, and he was eventually able to understand quite complicated sentences like, would you pick that television up and take it outside the room? Something like that. That's one that sticks in my head. If you go onto YouTube, you can see it. You know, that he's being told things that are, I mean, okay, it's not quantum physics, but it is, you know, complicated yeah. interactions yeah. with reality that are just spoken to him, and he understands it. And, it, and, it. and it's not just and, it's not just some repetitive task that they that he's done, and 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 recognizes the sound of the words. Like the the researchers it, it actually putting together it. sentences that he does not know, so he has to comprehend the 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 new construction of the sentence. Yeah. Yeah. That's absolutely right, and, That's and there's a sort of there are also videos of him. He was he was taught how to make a fire, and he could make a bonfire and cook marshmallows on a stick, and he them. And he you know, sort of, I mean, again, basic stuff. But if you're able to say something, and he's able to do, you know, to show that he's understood it, then that's kind of one of us, you know. That's, yeah. That's what I mean by that. Yeah. You, you know, there's you have communicated in a way that is using the abstract tool of language to enter that, that world of intelligence. Well, to join minds, essentially, that's really what it's about. Yeah. 